Hi everyone, today we are going to do an experiment with Zener diode and LED. Zener diode can work as a voltage regulator and LED is light emitting diode. We are going to study about the resistances for lighting up the LED. We are going to see how much would be the resistance for getting the minimum glow and the resistance required for getting the maximum glow. The components required for today are shown here. You need two Zener diodes, 1N4733 and 1N4739. I am using a red LED. I have shown here the positive and negative terminals of the LED. Positive terminal is going to be long and negative terminal is going to be short. We are going to use two resistors. One is 220 ohms with the bands red, red, brown, gold is for tolerance and we are going to use a 1 kilo ohm resistance which is going to have the color codes brown, black, red and gold for tolerance. We are going to need some wires. We can have some neatly stripped wires like this or we can have the breadboard connection wires that are available in the market like this. We are going to use the breadboard that we regularly use for our labs. We are also going to use power resistor, the variable resistor, the DC power supply and also the digital multimeter. The first and foremost thing to do is to check if the LED is working fine. We are going to use the LED testing position, diode testing position on the DMM. Connect the positive of the LED to positive of the DMM. Negative of the LED to the negative of the DMM set in diode test position. See, diode test is on. Now, uh, positive is here, negative is here. So, positive is connected to positive, negative is connected to negative. Positive to positive and negative to negative that is forward biasing the LED. This is giving me a voltage of 1.645. I am going to round to two decimal places 1.65 volts. I am going to note in table 3.1 DMM set to diode test. 1.65 volts. Now I am going to set it in ohms position with same connection. This is showing me 7.03 mega ohms. 7.03 mega ohms. Now I am going to reverse it. I am going to reverse bias the LED. If this is showing me 280 uh, like the third digit and the fourth digit are uh, moving fluctuating that's okay we can consider the first reading that we see 285 mega ohms in the reverse bias there is no current conduction so it is going to offer a very high resistance now set in diode test mode the circuit is open so this is 0 volts now we are going to hook up this circuit plus 5 volts DC power supply positive should be connected to resistor one end the other end of the resistor goes to the positive of the LED negative of the LED goes back to the negative of the supply look at the circuit here positive of the fixed 5 volt supply goes to positive one end of the power resistor one end of the power resistor the second end of the power resistor goes to positive of the LED positive of the LED and negative of the LED goes back to negative of the supply the power resistor knobs should be at 9 on all the dials we are going to slowly set to two different positions and see if there is any minimum glow up to 
zero in the first position I don't get any glow but when I move this I see a minimum glow when I come to this position I note it down now we are going to fill the values for table 3.2 first light I have seen at a resistance I am going to measure the resistance noted here voltage across the LED I am going to see and note it voltage across the resistor I am going to note it I diode is by computation I am not going to do this voltage across the LED I have to measure connect it across the terminals of the LED look on the DMM it is showing 1.54 volts the minimum glow was when the knob was showing 2 here 9999 9, 9. I have noted the same in here 29999 ohms you can convert it into kilo ohms it would be 29.99 kilo ohms three places I have moved the point and this is the value now when it has to give the fullest brightness the resistance is changed to 999 ohms now voltage across the LED again you have to measure voltage across the resistor you have to measure the way you did before voltage across the resistor is by connecting across these two terminals and setting it in voltmeter position 3.47 volts and voltage across the LED is by connecting across these two terminals 1.56 volts now we are going to hook up this circuit the power supply it's going to be variable power supply connected to 220 ohms fixed resistance negative of the zener diode has to go to that end and also the load resistors one end should go there this diode and the load resistor are connected in parallel and the second end of that combination goes back to the negative of the supply circuit the resistor 220 ohms to that you are connecting the negative of the zener diode in the same line and the second end goes to the negative of the power supply negative of the power supply and across these two ends I have connected the variable resistor now I am going to set the variable resistor to 1000 ohms and I am going to change my power supply to different values and see how much is the voltage drop across the diode and voltage drop across this resistor and note the values in the table now I am going to do the measurements for this table table 3.4 power supply voltage should be set to 1 voltage across R1 voltage across the load resistor which is also equal to voltage across the diode because RL and diode are connected in parallel then I am going to keep on increasing my supply voltage to 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 10 and see how my values are across the resistor R1 and across the diode now the power supply is set to 1 volt I am going to measure the voltage drop across R1 194.37 millivolts observe it observe the DMM it shows 194.18 millivolts I am going to note it I am going to measure across the diode it shows me 0 0.88 volts the same thing I am going to do for all the other voltages and have the values for the two columns measured voltage across R1 and voltage across RL other three columns are by computation 
the table is finished you have from voltage 6 at the supply stabilization or regulation done 4.95 volts when I increase the supply voltage to 7 I have as 5.02 8 is also giving me across the load 5.04 10 volts at the supply is also giving me 5.06 volts so from here to here I could approximate it as 5 volts across the load now the output voltage is regulated to 5 volts by the Zener 1N4733 the load resistance should be set to 1000 ohm 750, 500, 350, 200, 150, 150 then you are going to measure the voltage across R1 and voltage across RL for different load resistance settings I am going to do it and I will show you this is for 1000 ohms RL VR1 is showing 5.02 V load is showing 5.06 that is the regulated output voltage I am going to change the resistance of the load to 750 750 measure the voltage across R1 5.03 5.03 look at this table guys in here for 1000 ohms it is regulated voltage across the diode is regulated for 750 it is regulated for 500 it is regulated for 350 also it's regulated but when the load resistance drops to 200 ohms the voltage regulation is lost it has come to 4.81 and when it is still decreased when the load resistance is still decreased we don't have any regulation at the output now we are going to hook up this circuit it has a transformer at the input two diodes are connected in series one in 4739 and one in 4733 um, the positive goes to this 220 ohm resistance the negative end goes to the negative of 4733 and across this we still have the one kilo ohm load resistor positive end of the cathode ray oscilloscope channel 1 is going to be connected to this end and chan like the negative end goes here this is the transformer I have not connected the second end of the transformer here but I am using the center tap because I am going to get 0 volts at this point and 14 volts here and during the negative half it is going to reverse and I need only this much voltage for my cathode ray oscilloscope to show me the waveform clearly now the resistor is here the 220 ohm resistance positive end of the first diode is connected to that common point negative end is going to the negative end of the second diode and I have connected a resistor in parallel to these two diodes and am I negative the center tap is going to this point the circuit diagram was shown the oscilloscope positive the oscilloscope positive goes to this end and the oscilloscope negative goes here now look at the oscilloscope look at the oscilloscope output when I put it on ground it's on reference I move it up I keep it on reference I should put it in DC because the output is already rectified the zener is going to produce a Z DC output now you see from the reference on the positive half beyond this voltage it's clipped off on the negative half beyond this voltage it's clipped off now let's note the voltages in corresponding places in table 3.6 measured upper voltage so I, I have one division 1.2 divisions on the positive side vertically so 1.2 divisions times my vertical scale is set to 
5 volts the upper voltage is because of 1n4733 if you analyze the circuit you would find that the positive half is because of that diode and you have 6 volts at the output on the oscilloscope on the negative side we have 10 volts maximum cutoff that is because of diode 1n4739 just check your circuit and find for yourself how is it and also check the data sheet for 1n4739 and 1n4733 for the zener voltages the vertical scale is 5 volts per division I have noted from here and horizontal scale I have noted from here 2 milliseconds and the graph is all your responsibility you can with this data you can make the graph within this area thank you so much for watching bye